Hello and welcome to the Axloft video blog. I'm Jared and in this video I'm going to show you a quick and useful tip on how to adjust the green interface lister layout to display multiple columns instead of one long vertical column. This works with any lister, but for this example I just created a simple directory with a list of names. So let's get right to it and let's look at the default lister layout. Here you can see our list of names separated into pages. Let's change that by going to the green interface, layouts module, modules tab, then editing the lister layout for the directory. Change the number of items to all and hit apply or save. This will now show all of the names in one long vertical column. Now let's change the layout to display the information in three separate columns. Go back to the green interface lister layout and edit the repeat section. Create a table row to hold your data and copy the item tag three times. You then need to remove the table row tags from the item section below to get the columns to display correctly. Hit apply or save and refresh your web page. Now this is looking pretty good, but you'll notice that the page is listing the names horizontally and alphabetically. Let me show you how to list those names vertically down the column. Begin by deleting the repeat section and inserting only one item tag. Then in the body section, place a div wrapper around the repeat tag and give it a width style of 200 pixels and a float style left. Be sure to close your new div, and then let's add some conditional statements to the item section. Say we want to show 12 items in each column, so we're going to insert the conditional that if the number is equal to 13, close the div, and start a new one with a width style of 200 pixels and float style left. Let's copy this if statement and paste it below, changing the equal to number to 25. The last step is to place our actual lister content in its own div wrapper to make sure it displays properly. Hit apply or save and refresh your web page. The names are now listed alphabetically in vertical columns. That's it for this video's quick tip. To view other videos or make a suggestion, head on over to the Microsoft ecosystem.